Hi, this is Mark Hoskey. I'm here with uh, Peter Martin from Schneider Electric. Uh, Peter made a presentation today at the CSIA conference and will summarize a few key points for us. Thank you, Mark. The real key to the discussion I had today and to the, the work that we're doing is that automation can be one of the most valuable investments that any industrial company can make. And yet, to a large degree, it isn't. And it isn't because of some of the blockers, some of the things that get in the way of value. For example, the technology focus we've had as an industry ever since the 1970s and 80s when the digital computer was introduced as the basis for an automation platform, that automation focus is just too strong. We're focused on using the latest and greatest automation and very often we lose the fact that that technology should be used to solve client problems. We have to get back to the days where we focused on client problems. The second barrier is what I call replacement automation. Many of the automation projects done today are exact replacements of the system that was in beforehand that reached its end of life. So we replace old technology with new technology doing exactly the same thing. That doesn't add value. The third barrier is project team approaches. We put some of our best talent on project teams. And unfortunately, their entire value measurement is on time, on budget delivery of projects. We don't measure project teams on the value they could create. So we have this wonderful talent base that's constrained to delivering projects on time, on budget, which means that when we do a replacement automation project, the incremental potential that that technology could generate is never realized. So measuring the right things is really key. Measuring the right things is really key, and that's the fourth critical barrier. The cost accounting systems that are in play today do not measure industrial plants and processes to the level they need to in order to prove the value that we can create. Unless we can measure value, we can't show the, the industrial management, project teams, we can't show them how much real bottom line value we can create. Once we actually do put real-time accounting metrics in that are driven off sensor-based data, we can show the, the exact dollars and cents that we create, what we drive to the bottom line, and we're always surprised because we can drive way more value than we think we can. So I believe it's time that we really buckle down and convert our approach from the technology-driven approach of the last 30 years to a value-based approach and reclaim those bottom line improvements that we know we can make. Peter, who can save the world? The engineer can save the world and we're going to. Thank you. Thank you.